Web of Shadows is fine on the low C and how the Discord is the best she's going to get now. Okay, so that's fine. We've done all of our armor and I our followers. We just need to catch up now to the army here. The Chaos Army. And we're good. Well, she's level 39. What do we want to do with her now? Like, we wanted to finish off Devastating Charge, but it might be worth picking up the Favor the Fortunate. Because that would buff the Blackguard of Nagaron she has. No, I think we're fine with the uh, Confer Bloodlust and the uh, Cold the Unworthy. Any of these other ones I think are not really worth. Maybe having the Lash Master for the extra weapon strength for Harpies, War Hydras and Black Dragons would be good because she now has War Hydras and Black Dragons. But is that worth more than the charge bonus? Probably. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, so that'll make our black dragons just that little bit stronger. Malekith being in this army is pretty damn cool. And he could probably absolutely wreck Kavalin now. Because uh, with that magic and with all of the um, abilities, we're going to be fine. I think we're going to fight this one out. We're going to take on Valen for another time this time. We're not going to let him attack us. We're not going to let him run away. We need to assign the arm piercing damage. We might give that to one of my Dark Shard units, actually. Although, if it's only melee, it might be worth adding it to like some of these Black Art Corsairs. Give the Frenzy ability to one of the Black Art Corsairs as well. And the Strider can go towards the War Hydra. Nordhammer says, buff her shades with Nelosi. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're already buffed. Um, I think we already took the, the stuff for that. Uh, they get buffed at the same time Dark Shards do. So let's battle. quick save this and fight it on the battlefield. We'll have uh, Malekith go straight for the throat of Valen and see if we can have another like epic dragon battle. That'd be so damn cool. They've got a lot of magic. Might have to worry about that a little bit. But once our reinforcements arrive, uh, we'd be in a, we're going to be in a pretty good spot, I think, to pull this off. All right, so we'll wait for our reinforcements to arrive, and then we'll run down the towards the beach and and try and take them out. So in the meantime, we just need to set up our line, um, which is going to be probably Dread Spears. We'll keep the formation pretty thick with the Black Guard of Nagrond. A little bit further out, I think. We'll keep the Corsairs in the middle. This is kind of annoying. Um, I'll have to do it backwards a bit, because otherwise I'm not going to fit them on the edge of the line there. Selection is being a bit weird. It's kind of a bit off center. It's kind of weird. Eager for battle. All right, black guard, dagger on one end and the other. Okay, and then we need all of our dark shards behind. These aren't dark shards with shields, which isn't as good, but let's do the, the job. Um. We'll turn off skirmish mode, but on guard mode, I'm going to have the Black Art Corsairs, like, all together on one flank. And we'll have the War Hydra on the other flank. We've got Malekith in the air. And we have reinforcements, so let's start the deployment, start the battle. And we have a solid 81 power reserve, which is pretty damn cool. Um, let's group all these guys, and we'll have to move up a little bit, I think. 
Then we'll have our reinforcements just come up and back us up. I have three fi uh, like fl uh, flying units, but I think we're okay. What's that ability they just used there? Melkos mystifying Miasma. Not quite sure why they use that. Uh, some dragon princes coming up. Let's just pause for a second and uh, get our line sorted out here. Um, yeah, ideally, I want to be over this little bridge here. If I can't get that far, we might just have to charge in here with Malekith and stop that little charge there. Mm, never mind, it doesn't really work. We'll take off again. I'm being hit by all sorts of magic. <laughs> We'll just put our breath onto them. Nice. Okay, um, on this right flank, our Phoenix has engaged our War Hydra. There's also some Silver Helms going around the flanks. We'll engage them with the Black Guard and Nagarond. Uh, as for the Mages, we can probably run them down with the Black Art Corsairs. What spells do we have here? Haven't used Mel um, Malekith in quite a while. We have the Doom Bolt, which is pretty good. We have Soul Stealer. We have the Power of Darkness. We have Chill Wind and the Blade Wind. I think the Blade Wind's pretty damn good, but we're going to use Chill Wind for now, just to slow down this advance. I think. That does apply Frostbite. Which is really useful for us to do some more damage. And I might even get Malekith to attack their Moon Dragon. Red My Red Spear probably won't hold long against the Phoenix Guard. Alright, what's happening on this flank? The Black Guard. Didn't do particularly well against the Silverhelms, I don't think. Actually, they were already depleted on that flank, weren't they? Um, so let's get these Hambos round anyway. We'll move our flanks in. Uh, like so. i grab all these guys and move them in. Then when they bunch up a lot here, we'll try and get the job done on the melee defense. Get the spell to go across. Alright, we have like six uses of Dark Bondure actually. So let's try and get into the middle of all of these guys with Malekith. And we can Dark Bondure. Lovely. Bring down the fire from the Black Ark onto those Swordmaster Poet. Uh, we're kind of losing out on this right side. Our War Hydra is killing off the Flame Spire Phoenix quite nicely, but it looks like Valen's come down and killed off those Black Ark Corsairs, which is annoying. Let's have the Dark Shards engage those. Uh, we're engaging both the Mages, our Black Ark Corsairs with Hambos. Those guys are being run down by Dragon Princes. Let's have these Bleak Swords come up. Looks like these Dark Shards have arrived, so we'll put them to the back. And we'll have our units of Spearmen get involved. Tell you what though, that Dark Conduit ability is just horrible for the enemy. It really, really is good. Right, we killed off the Phoenix actually there, which is nice. Let's go kill off this Lord Master of Hoeth. Oh, okay, we're struggling a little bit against Valen. Um, let's have all of these Dark Shards engage Valen back here. Because Malak is kind of struggling a little bit.
Come on, do the damage, boys. Give him the run around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, let's use the abilities on Lord and Seaguard there. And is there anything else we can be doing? We could get these hand bows to go and run down the Lord and Seaguard. I feel like a lot of our units are grouped up unnecessarily at the moment. Uh, so let's spread them out a little bit. There's a lot of dudes here. <laughs> Valen's getting wrecked. Not this time. I'm gonna kill Malekith. Let's go and uh, get these guys on target. Ooh. And uh, once Valen's dealt with. Let me use Soul Stealer there. <laughs> oh god. Malekith got so damn low. Can he win this fight this time though? Hear my words. If we can kill him with a breath. Oh, not quite. Maybe the homing missile from the Doom Bolt? Maybe that'll do the job. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, crush these Lord and Seaguard because they're doing a lot of damage. And um, that would be pretty much it. Where's my other Hydra? Oh, we only have one in this army, don't we? So never mind. Malekith. Oh, the Doom Bolt right on the back. noggin. <laughs> I tell you what, that was pretty damn epic. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, so time for the Dark Shards. I wish you would stop taking them out of the group. But yeah, time for them to turn around onto these Lord and Sea Guard. Oh my. That was insane. Uh, we've also got the... Bolt Thrower back there doing a lot of damage. But it looks like they're just going to run away. Yeah, we're good. That was pretty cool. The Nord Sammer here. Nord Hammer says Malachis Health Potion. I don't think it's actually activated yet, so uh, we can't use it. That would be uh, next turn. But what we can do is crush these guys. Probably kill off the law master there. Do another doom bolt. If not, we can just run him down. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> that was nice. All right, let's end the battle there for a close victory. Five hundred and forty-eight losses, mostly the Black Art Corsairs. We got our units a little bit grouped up and and let the bolt thrower get quite a few kills when it probably shouldn't have. Those Law Masters of Hoeth, though, picking up a few kills of their own. Crazy stuff. I think the Dragon Prince's initial initial charge into my spearmen as well did a lot of damage, which is why they picked up a lot of kills as well. Your new slaves. But we can take the enslaved there, I think. And we get a lot of cash for winning that battle. We can also attack them again to get even more cash, which would be fantastic. I am the Witch King. And that's exactly what I think we're going to do. Kill them off. Come 
I was a bit apprehensive there to click auto resolve because I thought that it might kill off Maliki, but now we're good. Fantastic. So a few more people dead there. We'll go back to Tor Amrock to get fully replenished. Um, the other thing I might do actually is jump onto the water quick and pick up another unit. I think we'll get some more Dread Spears in there. Because he has production in upkeep for Dread Spears. I guess that's the other thing that's kind of good. So we swap out the unit of Dread Spears for the unit of Black Art Corsairs. It definitely helps us out a little bit with our income, I think. We'll jump back into Toran Rock. And that helps us sort out our income. We got a bunch of post battle loot, so we can go ahead and spend that. It looks like Rebenis is nearly back to the frozen city. Mung is not looking good. Like the Iron Frost Glacier. <laughs> we lost two settlements there. We can upgrade Bear Isle to the uh, Fortress City though, which is good. And there's plenty to do in the next turn. All right, in the meantime, let's upgrade this to a crafting district. We'll max this out to a dark convent of sorcery. Gives us even more research rate. Provides a really nice garrison, actually. Extra dark riders. Cost 15,000. It's not even worth it. Like, same with this Palace of Dread Knights. It's not worth it. <laughs> It really isn't, but it might be worth just building it anyway so that we can get some Cold One Dread Knights in the future. Cold One Dread Knights are so much better than like the normal Cold One Knights. At least I hope so anyway. So now we have Recruit Convicts, we can go for these Spores of War, which should reduce the upkeep on our Harpies, War Hydras and Black Dragons, and we'll go for the Hunt Outlaws as, Outlaws as well. We don't use as many Shades and Dark Riders, so getting Spores of War first is probably the best idea. So we're going to do that. Cool. Let's not spend that extra cash on that building for now. We'll save it. Not much else we can build anywhere else, though. Maybe upgrade to the exotic animal pen now that we know that Kragoth Deep's safe. And let the frozen city maybe invest in the slave pens. Since we're not really going to be building anything else here. Like, we may as well. Okay, so with Tor Anrock safely in Malachis' hands. We can actually look to expand into Ulthwan once again. We destroyed a lot of the High Elf armies. How are they doing with Val's Anvil? They haven't taken it back yet, but they're looking to. So maybe we send Malekith all the way down there to try and stop them from finishing their ritual? I don't know. How many turns have they got left? Three turns. So they've got three turns to, like, colonize it again, I guess. The Nordhammer says, Malekith needs an upgraded army. Hmm, yes and no. We could give him an army of Black Art of Nagarond at some point. But that would require me taking his army all the way back, and I just can't be bothered. <laughs> like, maybe if our Black Art can start recruiting Black Art of Nagarond, then sure, but otherwise, nah. What's going on here? They're asking to join the war against the New World Colonies. We are not going to do that. Sorry, Cult of Pleasure. Soon we're going to have to have Moksha and Nelosi actually move up north to take out the... Or, sorry, not take out, but recolonize the lands we lost. I 
but it's good that we're getting this ritual done. Because we will be pretty close, I think, to the next ritual soon after. And then we'll be looking to win the game. And the other thing I have to look at is the quests. Because I do kind of want to do these quests. We can get the circlet of iron. Or Malekith. I'm not sure how good that is, the circlet. It gives us untainted armor, winds of magic power reserve 10. I guess that's actually quite good. And the enemy force is a chaos. Now he's level 40. Maybe we do that. If we move him out of a settlement, we might actually be able to complete that quest. Let's not do it yet. Let's sort out other stuff just first of all. I'm going to move Moksha into this province and hire him some Dark Riders. We have Nelosi who's going to auto resolve against that Chaos Army. It's a bit of an anticlimactic end to the Chaos Invasion, but. I mean, there's no point in playing that out. It's pretty simple. And that is plenty of slaves now. Nagaron now has 7,626. That's giving us a lot of income. Dreadlord, awaiting command. And she's going to go and colonize Dagrax End for us. Noble of Nagaron. All right. We'll have Moksha after he's recruited those go up and do Iron Frost and then the Losi on her way back down can start heading towards Ulf 1. Alright, for these rights, we could have done the sacrifice to Athati to get the extra loyalty on Moksha. But I'm very tempted to get another Black Ark at some point. We only have one. Public order is not so much of an issue, though. We already have that all sorted. Especially a Tor Amrock, where we're getting plus 21 public order per turn. There's actually a treasure right here. I only just noticed that. Let's change to the normal stance. Go pick that up. Extra experience and treasury there. Damn you. Any others nearby that I missed? I don't think there is. Overlord. The other thing we could do is start trading out more of these Black Art Corsairs for Dread Spears. Black Art Corsairs, though, do have like that 48 weapon attack, which is pretty damn nice. Compared to the 59 melee defense of the Dread Spears. Dread Spears don't have that much armor, though. Whereas Black Art Core says do. Wow. Never really noticed that before. How low the armor was on the Dread Spears. And the main issue with, with changing the, the army of Malekith now is that he doesn't have the abilities to upgrade like Blackguard of Nagarond. Like, imagine if we have Slaughter Lord and Favor the Fortunate with the minus 50% upkeep cost for Blackguard of Nagarond. He'd be really, really damn good. Unfortunately, we can't reset his skill points. So having him with like a mediocre army is just something that is kind of thing, I guess. I might wait one more, one more turn before doing his quest, just so that he is full health. Uh, Rebenis can move into the frozen city though, and uh, make this cheaper to upgrade. Get the Temple of Cain there. And um, attempt to upgrade that to Dread Bulwark, but I'm thinking that for the last ritual, it might change the settlement if I do that. And I would rather keep it in these three settlements, Rond, Harganeth, and Nagarond. But we'll move on for now. We'll move on to the next turn. Then we'll do the quest battle for Malekith. 
Um, then we'll wait for Nalosi to arrive and continue with the attack into Ulthuan. Okay. Exciting stuff. Looks like the Court of Pleasure is going to be <laughs> wrecking another one of Hexoatl's armies. They are pretty damn strong now. They've recovered very well. They just deleted that army as well. That was an entire army of the New World Colonies. Really good job by them. The High Elf Intervention has been destroyed. That wasn't on us, I don't think. That must have been against the Skaven, actually. We can't see. Now, there may be one reason that we can't actually trade with them anymore. It's because we can't see any of their settlements that remain. They're offering me a peace treaty. We can get some money for that. Oh, well, why not? Cool. Now, it might be nice to wait, actually, and get some Dark Riders with shields instead of normal Dark Riders. But, not too much of a difference. Let's have Moksha move up here towards Iron Frost. Now Lucy's gonna head back down to Kaelora this turn. And she will fully replenish. And we will head her towards Malika. We could send her a little bit further actually. Because we have two turns to replenish her anyway. Right, and with Malekith sorting out his Malekith. army in its entirety, it's time to do his circlet of iron quest. Let's teleport. So we have the initial army and the reinforcing armies. <laughs> As an auto resolve, this would be pretty easy, but we're going to fight this on the battle map. Let's go ahead and do just that. Get him his circlet of iron. This would be the first quest battle that I've done with Warhammer 2. So I hope it's good. Even though the odds are against our opponent. These chaos stretches bore me. At least with the Asla, I can enjoy their death screams. Yet, it is a labor that must be undertaken. I claim this altar, not in Cain's name, but mine own. Savants of the Desperate Gods, I advise you, stay out of my way. If not, you shall face the might of the Truki. And our ways of killing are far more inventive than your own. Well then, here we are. Survey your army and choose a formation, Fear then advance. <laughs> Going. Dealers in death. To destruction. Right, let's just set these fellas up, and uh, we will carry on forwards. I'm going to keep the Black Art Corsairs back there on the sides as well. Crush the enemy vanguard before they are reinforced from the shrine. Okay. Malekith! Advancing! 
Malakes looking hungry for blood. There's actually not many troops up here. These are just forsaken. That altar though, look at that. That's pretty damn badass. We're claiming that for Malakith himself. Once these troops get into position, then we can finally group them and move forwards. Let's go. Do you have Tark Conduit, actually? <laughs> Considering <laughs> this is a quest battle, I did not expect to get the Dark Conduit ability, but we do have it. <laughs> so, let's go forth and uh, wreck them. I'm probably going to have Malekith just do this whole thing on his own. Go for the Arcane Conduit, we may as well. And uh, we will charge on down. Actually, before we do, let's just use a breath onto these Chaos Knights. Now we'll go, go down, and if they charge into me, then what I can do is Dark Conduit. It's going to kill a lot of those units. Uh, we probably need to move a little bit further forwards just so that we get our bows on target and that conduiting is pretty silly on Malekith because it does reset all of his cooldowns but at the end of the day there's no spell that does that much damage that Malekith has access to so yeah we're good enemy reinforcements have arrived And dodge that fireball. And uh, we'll kill off these Forsaken quite handily. Enemy mages. I Dodged it again. I'm surprised their Forsaken. units aren't like... Or my Forsaken. units, sorry, aren't using their bows on the Chaos Knights. Seems a bit silly. Eleanor. By the way, we are doing a lot of damage and those Chaos Knights are very dead. If we can uh, just let our archers kill the uh, <laughs> lord there. Nice. Let's now turn the army on its side. And uh, we will wait for the reinforcements to approach. Cool. Sorry for those who are watching on the stream, I have no idea why my internet is being so annoying today. It's dropping in and out, which is really unfortunate. So yeah, sorry about that guys. We are continuing with the attack of the altar for Malachis quest battle. All of these guys are going to go on to guard mode. Dark shots. And one thing we're going to do here is doom bolt these chaos warriors. Might as well put the dragon down on them as well. Ooh, that did a nice amount of damage, didn't it? Fabulous. Chaos spawn there. 
Not going to last too long. Doom Bolt's going to come down and smash into some of those units as well. Nice. Go on, Malekith. Get in there. I might have him just charge forwards. He can like dark conduit again. Just blow the rest of these guys up. Lovely. Our archers should be doing something. I'm not entirely sure whether or not. Aspiring champions charging towards my Hydra. Trying to prove a point, but getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> yeah, they're like, screw that. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was insane. That is victory. That is our quest battle complete. Another exalted hero gone. Tell you what, the gods are not going to be happy with us killing all of their heroes. But that is one of the altars. That is mine. Thank you very much. Malekith doing a lot of the work himself. Pretty simple battle, which is nice. I might even look to complete his other quests now that he does have a decent army.